Hi all, so in our previous video, we have seen how to query a customer database. So this was the, this was the customer database that we have queried. So we have entered a name and we have got the address ID for that name. And we have written this query here and uh, we have uh, made the query quite robust as well. Uh, if we don't pass any name at all, it was uh, not giving any error. If we pass even the name incorrectly, then also it was not fetching that value. So it was working quite uh, good. Now, in our s this part, we will see how to query the address table and whatever the value, for example, if I pass apply in here, so it will give me address ID. So for this 20 address ID. What is the address in our table? 20 address is this one. Ponde, Vedra, B, something is there. So we will try to fetch that address. Let's see how we can do it. So first of all, again, we have to write a query for that. So let's close everything here or we can go on to, you know, like a, a new rule as well. So how to open a rule? After the suit design interface, just open this rule. I will paste this in description as well. Uh, just after that you can write this rule now what we will do here is uh, we will f query this table first of all so that and we will try and we will give a rule input like one two three and we will try to fetch all the address for that okay so let's give here so how to make a query entity we will just write a bank query entity then and entity we have to write what is the entity name entity name we have uh, to make a constant to refer to that entity some pointer should be there so let's make a constant for that and here we will write vof address data store entity and this is the data store entity okay and now it will open the value for that okay now it will open the data store entity data store is there so vof data store still we are referring to that and which is the entity name vof addresses is there done so now we have referred the VOF address data store entity as well. So two things are there and let's refer the constant here. Cons bang uh, YS VOF address data store entity. Our constant is done. Now we have to write the query. So a bang query we can write. That is also done. And here as well, we will filter or let's try to see all the details first of all paging info a bank paging a bank paging info what is the start index is one and batch size we will keep it one only and we will try to get all the data first of all so you can see here uh, we are getting one data here just write dot data dot data okay so we are getting the data and before the data uh, let's remove and see one more important point is here let's see how it is uh, how it is sorted it is automatically sorted by zip field okay let's sort it by id field short we will use it here a bank short info and we will write it here field what is the field for that uh, we will sort it by id and ascending will be true just write it true now it will get sorted by id huh. now refer the dot data that is much better so now we have got our first value from the database now if i write 20 i should get all the data for the 20 part right I should get all the data. That's how our query was working because in our first query, we were getting 20. So user should be able to enter a value or we should be able to enter that value. So let's write it here, address ID. So with the help of address ID and which is, I guess, integer. Yeah, it is integer. So we will now filter. We will write here uh, what we are getting 20. So we will write 20 here with the help of 20 value we should be able to get all the data let's collapse the paging info part and write here uh, what we want to write is a 
filter so filter we will write here is a bank query filter okay so we will write here a bank query filter that's it done and which field we are trying to filter filter is id field we are filter and the operator of id is what operator of id is equal to done and what is the value so we are uh, whatever the value we are passing as rule input it should be equal to that so rule input address id then so if i put 20 i should get all the address for the 20 and you can see here all the address for 20 are coming ponte vedra beach fl all this zip all this are coming here okay so for the 20 value similarly if i put any other value like 2 as well or 21 as well so we will get 21 value so this filter is made now let's make it index it in this field as well okay so we will use index function here index in index function what is our first input data and after that comma is there wherever data is situated data is query entity after that we have to write comma and whatever the field we have to write just index it with that and if data is not available then we will just write um, null like this now much better so if I write something like 210 this field is not available in the data so it will not return any value at all now let's copy all the value see I have written it individually separately so that it will not disturb this okay now this address ID is 20 here and we are passing in this query here uh, rule input address we have to change it with this address ID so first of all we will store this 20 somewhere and there is if I say like somewhere like there is only one way like local variables to store a bank local variables we will make it okay like this and local bank address address ID and what is the address ID so the address ID is this nothing but this is our address ID is stored here similarly uh, now in our next expression we will pass this address ID here so instead of value rule input address ID now we can write local bank address ID because address ID is stored there now to store this data we will use another variable like local bank address right and what we will do is just copy everything okay just copy everything from here done copy and paste it this part is also done here and you can see here rule input where you, this id should be equal to what this id should be equal to local bank address id we are already storing our address id here and finally these two are just local variables so don't try to run the expression now we will get an error okay so what we will do is uh, okay so this is the local variable okay after that we have to write this now we will call our first of all let's see what is the address id and what is the value we are getting so local bank address and local bank address id we, if we have written app line let's try to test the rule okay fine we are getting an error let's see what is the error now cannot apply operator equals to field id when comparing value to this and that okay fine okay so here okay i got that two one let's for the error and check what is the error here if i write two one so okay and fine now i got it why it is behaving like this so if you see here uh, this ID should be equal to local bank address ID what is the type of this ID let's go on the table this is the ID and what is the type let's go to the structure and see the type is int okay this ID type is int. and what is the type of local bank address ID local bank address ID is not actually int. it is uh, actually returning list of variants so we have to convert this into integer so that both fields are equal right if both fields are not equal then how it will refer so let's convert it into two integer field here and here 
now let's try to refer once again okay fine cannot apply operator equals to field id when comparing to value so local bank address is fine here address id is now coming in local variable now we will see more about okay and let's try to test our rule okay fine we are getting the value so what we are getting two items we are getting we are getting the address and we are getting 20 as well so we don't want to refer that we have just written in so if equal to is not taking in is taking then fine okay now let's remove and now we only want the address how we will uh, know where is our address stored our address is stored in local bank address and what is the format of the address first address field is what uh, city state state street and zip first of all we will refer the street name then city then state then zip how we can refer it let's see here so here we will see uh, here we will see local bank uh, address dot okay what is the street s-t-r-w-e-t only street let's try to see what is the street name oh great you see we have got the street name now we will see similarly uh, we will copy it and we will paste it here now instead of a street what we want now we want city state and zip so let's write it here city okay and then similarly we will write it state similarly we will write it here zip that's it okay so now you can see here this now all these are coming you know like list of text string it is coming we had the, all this and we will join this value once okay so what we will use here is join array function so we will join this array okay so here we will use the join array function and let's cut all the data here let's paste it here and let's test the rule so now it has joined so join array function works how first of all we have to give the array and what is the separator okay so array it we have given and separator will be comma add a bit of space as well okay so now it will give the comma so even if i write here suppose ecme corporation okay so it will give me the address of ecme corporation as this one so that's much better so let's try to create an interface uh, and get that value in our interface as well okay so uh, address address of customer we can write something like this customer fine okay that is done address of customer uh, and we have to save the change before saving the change uh, what we will do is here also dot notation is there it can break so instead of that we can write a property function so in one i am trying to implement the property in rest uh, like you can also apply it very simple all whatever the where is the data in local bank address and what is the index we are trying to fetch local bank street and if it is not there then just return null or we can write curly braces so like that as well uh, we can fetch the value okay so let's save the changes similarly in the others as well you can easily do that no worries fine so in here what we will do is let's create a form here and in the form uh, we don't need the section one okay so let's try to write our we will write the customer name here and in the second one we will get get the address of that one okay so whatever is there it will say here address okay and it will say it will here it will refer the name okay and in order to store the data we have to write some rule inputs or we can create local variable better to create a, anything we can create actually let's create rule input only uh, okay so it is name and name value will be text fine that is done and address a double okay a double a double s address is done address will also reflect as a text fine so name field is here what is the display value 
role input name where it should save role input name and address field is here so address field is a role input address where it should store role input address now we have to refer the expression rule in our uh, interface so that we can get the value right so we have written quite a uh, big expression it is okay so you can see here uh, this expression rule is ready and we will try to fit complete that part as well which is remaining okay so in the name it is stored here what will be the value right uh, what will be the value of the address the value of the address will be rule bang uh, let's save the changes and this rule right so write it here rule bang uh, this address is there let's give the number fine now it has given one error like it has one parameter but instead zero parameters are passed okay no issues we will pass the parameter and what is the name of the parameter you will get here name and here what what we are passing here so we have already made a rule input name so whatever the user enter it will get a store in rule input name and it will get into that expression and it will fetch the address of that so let's try to write here app line so if i written here app line so you can see here the address of app line is reflecting here okay so here we can write customer okay customer data or customer address great so if i write any other name let's try to go to our customer table and let's write something as kono hot global and let's try to enter that name and write c this is this is fine great it is fetching that address okay so let's save our expression rule and we are done with that so we have to use the property function again and again for this part as well okay so here here <laughs> okay don't write it like this i'm just writing like this fine 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 so we have to cover our okay we can use property or we can use index as well why to confuse we have been using index so just use the index only so we will use the index function only fine let's cover our index function then now index function where is the data local bank address contains the data and what value we are fetching from that address city we are passing if city is not there then just return null similarly for this as well state and now let's pass it here null and zip as well and let's pass it here null that's it okay so even if we made any mistakes or anything we have written it won't uh, fetch for that or if some values are not available so it will just return null right so if address is here we have written something like this so it won't return any address right so let's save our changes uh, okay save the expression as well then this error will not happen actually okay and let's test it again okay fine now this time if i write app line so we will get the address here and if i write any mistake a spelling mistake here so it won't break the code so you can see here only null is there right so that's all in this video so so that's all in this part like 